The legendary 9600-9610 from Sid Monning is back. Hey, what's up guys? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today we got 22 mods for all platforms. We have 12 new and 4 updates. One of those updates was actually here on Saturday. We're going to talk about it. And if you guys are on PC or Mac, we've also got 5 new and 1 update for you guys. I make mod review videos every time they're released on the in-game mod hub. So get subscribed if you're new. That way you never miss any. Starting off today with some new mods for all platforms. We have the Small Cow Farm map from Frankie Y. This is a mix of Small Farm and a Cow Farm. It's a small map where cows are in focus. Uh, uh, of which there are 1,200 cows. Good luck. They also <laughs> found in natural water. Not quite sure what you mean by that. Maybe um, pre-placed water tank somebody anywhere? Hey, yo. Uh, basic plants and animals forestry is not on the map, but can be created uh, on your own by removing well, some of these trees and maybe putting down some more. There are 1,200 cows, and the feeding capacity and the straw in the water are set accordingly. You can place the fences from the base game map here, too, and kind of do whatever else you want. They do say enjoy the map. Speaking of the map, let's take a look at it. This is it. So I'm zoomed all the way out to the exact kind of size of a normal map, like a base game map, Elm Creek, for example. And then we're going to zoom all the way in to here. He's tiny. What do you own? Well, we get field 13 and 14. We have this main area right here, which has your farm shop on it. And then we have all like the shop and some selling points through there. We also have field 23. Now prices are pretty cheap. Overall, at least 197 for the large field right there. You've also got 12,000, 25,000, 28, 44, 28. So you can see prices are not that crazy. This may actually be a great place for you guys to load up and maybe have some smaller sets of animals. So that is very cool. You've also got some other stuff through here as well. So uh, maybe you want to do something a little bit smaller or something a little bit different. Well, you can easily do that, which is very, very nice. And then, of course, your main large cow pasture is right over here. Take a look at the outside of the map. Doesn't look too bad. Looks like they've got some, uh, some real trees. And if we zoom up just a little bit, we'll be able to see the true outside of the map. I think they've done an incredible job making this actually seem like it's here. Um, also, around the edge of the map and stuff like that, uh, though we're able to get up here, uh, I don't think you're supposed to be able to get up there. So, uh, oh yeah, I'm stuck behind some barrier wall. Well, that's fun. Hey, let's take a look at what we've got a new farmer. How about that? Well, we get the class area and the Valger G135. Great to see Valger getting some love here. We've also got the top liner. We got a nice little regular tipper. We've got a header, a disc harrow. We got a power harrow, subsoiler, cedar, which goes along with the power harrow that we've got, small little mower. Tether, windrow, baler, everything you would need for doing hay. You've also got a front loader, front loader tool. You've got your header trailer, and you got some weights. As far as slot counts go, the map is going to be 636 slots in new farmer mode. So just a heads up there. Um, otherwise, check it out. Hey, maybe this is something you've been looking forward to, and this is for you if it is. Next up from Sid Monning, we have the John Deere 9600 9610 Combine Harvester, which is out now for all platforms. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about this, and yeah, it's here now. 253 horsepower, we got 530 liters of fuel, 15 miles an hour, 8,457 liter capacity at 13,007 pounds kilograms i don't know it's 13.7 tons don't know where i was going with that 22 slots on console which ain't too bad not for one of sid's uh, combine harvesters as far as grain tank extensions well you get a small one you go up from was that 8400 to 9800 then we have a little bit of a larger one. It goes to 11,818 and then back down. So 11,818 is the highest it gets. Will Brand is Michelin, Midas, and back and forth between those. We can change up the Michelin a little bit, which is very cool to see. Check that out. It got some little chunky boy duels on there. Looking beautiful. Midas are just big singles, and that's it. Design, we got the Surefire 3000 on top. CB radio inside, yes or no. Uh, the cord for that will bounce around. So, just a heads up there. It's really cool. You should definitely check it out. And then we got the 9600 and the 9610. So, the 9600 
253 and the 9610 275 horsepower a little bit extra nothing crazy pipe we got the short pipe and you have a standard i'd probably go with the standard just so you can get a little extra reach but whatever works best for you and that is it that is it there are no headers for this however you can use the base game 625x and it'll work perfectly next up we've got some more logging tools for you this is the ponzi bison active frame not to be confused with the recently released ponzi bison active frame shuttle yeah totally different kind of uh you've got different things on here engines are virtually identical uh, variable transmission 170 liters fuel 12 miles per hour 22.7 tons console players will find that this is 25 slots what brands include nokia trelleborg and you've got your all phosphors in here as well we've got multiple different versions so <laughs> just go through find what you like window tinting we've got no and black and yellow and then back to none again hood protection design one design two or nothing lower protection yep or no it's got a little body kit look to it there it looks pretty cool exhaust protection of course you want that on there as well window protection if you're anything like me you're gonna want that timber blade on the front absolutely designed well we've got a couple different things on back here but really nothing too wild and crazy does extend it a little bit and then your engine setup so you go for 285 to 425 back and forth between those cost it that much either main color all of them is basically the thing there You've also got claw color. We'll go with a bright neon green there. Brands and chain color. Now, this would be uh, on the bottom. We don't have chains on, but those could be changed up to pink. And then rim colors are, at the end of the day, rim colors. After the long-awaited wait, the Lizard HPN Series Brazil from Cola Mining is here. Very cool to see this on here. So, we got 177 horsepower, manual transmission, 210 liters of fuel, 49 miles an hour. And it's a truck, baby. Yeah, 12 slots on here. We have a lot of customization, but we'll come back to it in a minute. I wanted to show you we've also got many different types of carriers as well. So we have a bolt carrier for the 6x2 wheelbase. We have the bolt carrier for the 4x2 wheelbase. And then the 6x2B, a dumper bed there. We also have a dumper for the 6x2. And a cider? What's a cider? Anyway, so you've got a cider right there as well. Uh, slot counts are pretty low for everything. So wheel brand, we got the four by two. You got the two by six A, two by or six by two B, and then back into the four by two. So that's going to change up a few things and determine which one of those beds that you can use. Wheel setups, well, you do have iron rims, O1 and O2. You can also change up the black front rear, uh, aluminum wheels, different versions of those, and then back to iron decorative sash uh, aka the uh, liveries right there you could change up a few different ones of those that's nice to see rear height uh you could go with some extra additions right there in the height now here in the united states i don't think this is quite popular but around the world i do know that it is so if that's what you're looking for there you go uh starlight or st 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 stare is that what that is stare light i'm not sure what that is Anyway, you got some extra lights. Choose them if you need them. Uh, you've also got bumper colors, which could be gray, black. Uh, you don't have set colors for these, but you can at least change it up there. You've got windows, which get lighter to darker. That's cool. PX antennas, so a couple different antennas on the very front. Establishment rear light. Oh, embellishment. I should probably read what the words say. Anyway, that's pretty cool to see some extra lighting there. Hubcaps. Well, you can throw those on if you want to. Uh, we've got different versions of those. Rear hubcaps, so you can change the front and the rear up, both in this independently. Exhaust, different exhaust. Man, there's so much customization to this. It is ridiculous. Air suspension, yeah or no. Capacity, plastic tank, plastic tank one. I assume the plastic tank's on this side. Yeah, and then we've got a metal tank there as well. Front grill, change up the color of your front grill. Pneumatics here, yep. Nope, oh, whatever. And then engine, you have a 177, another 177, 184, 210 and back down again marker and sun shield yep you got those if you need them I mean, there's so much customization this thing is ridiculous we do have custom colors through here so choose what you like these first four or five colors are going to be the base colors that match pretty much everything so if that's what you're looking for well you've got it man so many different customization options are there and then we also have the same thing through all of these as well there's so much uh probably won't be going through all the customization but if you look at it you can change it there's a whole lot to it on each and every 
one of these. I think this mod by itself needs a dedicated video completely to itself. Here's something cool. The Brent Avalanche 1596 from K4MIL. Uh, 53,000 liter capacity. That's going to be all your standard auger wagon crops. Weighs 19 tons by itself. Requires 300 horsepower. At least that's the uh, suggested. You definitely want to use a large frame tractor. Well, brands include Trailer Board, Grindstein, BKT, Continental, Michelin, and Michelin, we do have a couple different sets, so that is nice to see. And in Midas, we got a couple different sets in here as well. Even have the Lizard Crawler track on there. Now, um, it seems 3D, but I'm not quite sure if it is or not. I uh, believe it is. And then we've got different sets here right there. Main color, a green and red. That's very normal. And then we've got different colors for your rims as well. If you go with Crawler tracks, it's not going to do anything, but... If you go with your main rim colors like this, for example, oh, those will change. And this is going to be a total of 10 slots on console. So this mod's kind of neat. This is the Magsy Bell Fork. Now there's four different bell forks in here. We have the triple rectangle, the quadruple rectangle, the triple round, and the quadruple round, meaning that these can get very, very large very very quickly as you can see uh so the difference is with the square the tongs are a little bit further back than they would be on say this one right here now of course if we go in a little bit as you can see here the round bells well they're a little bit more forward push um could you have created one mod and just made it all do like the square one yeah i I think so, because that's basically what they are at the end of the day. So this is just four things in one pack that probably could have been just one. Nonetheless, at the end of the day, if this is something you're looking for, well, it is here. There's no customization for any of these. However, they are three slots each. Here's the one that'll look familiar to you guys as well. The Agrimass Salvus 3800. This is a cedar, so it'll do things like wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, cover crop, grass, sorghum that kind of thing. Uh, it also is a direct drill, so that is nice. Nothing too crazy there. Hope you like red because that's what you're getting there. And I hope you like green here because, well, there is nothing else. Uh, you can change it up a little bit to make it look slightly different if you're using some older equipment or something like that. So at least there's that. This holds 50 or uh, 5,000 liters between seed and fertilizer combined. 5.2 tons, 180 horsepower required, 3 meters, 11 miles per hour. Oh, and slots, 11 slots. The seed potato farm is back from Dazed and we've got a separation of mods. Now we're gonna talk about the buildings pack right after this one, but first is the seed potato farm vehicle pack. So we have four pieces in here. Starting off with the first one, we have the uh, TMC Casella TJP 610. They say that before potatoes can be harvested, the foliage needs to be cut with a Holland topper like this one. Four tons, 200 horsepower, six meters, five miles per hour, and it is seven slots. Then we have the Grimmy GL420. These are used to seed said potatoes and uh, can be used within the potato seed mod itself 2715 liters of uh, seeds or seed potatoes or potatoes or clean seed potatoes etc 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 uh, even liquid fertilizer in there 2.4 tons 150 horsepower three meters seven miles per hour and it's 10 slots next up we have the gl860 compacta this is exactly the same just a little bit larger 8050 liter capacity for uh, seeds and fertilizer combined 6.8 tons almost so close 170 horsepower six meters seven miles per hour and it is 14 slots and then lastly we have the nordstein hk25 with liquid fertilizer this is, is a cultivator this is is yeah it is is a cultivator it prepares your uh, fields for next sowing and it will fertilize at the same time 1500 liters of liquid fertilizer 1.1 tons 100 horsepower and three meters and seven miles an hour very very cool here it's also four slots so these can be used if you're wanting to kind of up your potato game all right so let's talk about the seed potato farm buildings pack now we've got everything here except for one thing if we go into the mod hub and we go to the seed potato farm 
pack. Well, right here, we've got a potato box. Now you can put literally anything in here that you want, but uh, you will want to use things like this so you can put potatoes in it and be a little bit more realistic with it. Now we've got all of these extra little areas around, so we are going to take a look at them at least very, very quickly. So in the store, if we pop in here, we've got some things. So we have the potato storage expansion. Now this is going to be back here at this back corner. Then if we go, I don't think there's anything in silos or silo extensions. Uh, in container, we have the sprayer store, which holds 30,000 liters. That is nice. In tools, I don't believe there's anything in there, nor in farmhouses. However, if we go into productions, well, we've got quite a few things. So we have the potato storage and sorting shed, which is over here. So we've got that there. We have the potato sorter itself, which we've got down here. We have the large potato sorter with bagger. That is nice. We even have a BGA, the BGA extended. Yeah. Uh, making our way in, we have a bunch of sell points. So we have the farmer's market expanded. We have the farmer or supermarket expanded. And then we have four just regular selling stations. They're all a dollar each. Should be very, very easy for you. And then past that, I'm pretty sure that's everything with the exception of a nice little clutchy poo right here. But, you know, that's for another day. Uh, really, these are for selling and taking care of your seed potatoes, which is very, very nice. So let's go over here and maybe we can take a look in here and see what we've got. So you've got a big huge expansion area where you can store sort do whatever you want to with your seed potato pallets put them exactly where you want them and keep everything nice and organized as you can see there so one area four different expansions through there now i can't remember but i'm pretty sure we've got some extra stuff around the other side and like an idiot well i was misinformed so uh there you go i guess that's uh I guess that's it for that. Let's go over to this building over here and let's take a look and see what we could get into with this building. Now, I know we've got some other stuff in here as well. So we open up here and it looks like we've got some areas for more storage, more sorting. That's nice. Can't we open said door? Yes, we can. And we've already got one of these sorters in here, which is really going to make things nice and easy for you. And as you can see here, we've got a door that's well, closed right now, but when we open it from the outside, we've got a direct line to just dump the potatoes straight in. How cool is that? And then we have a massive door here where we can open it up, get in your building, do whatever you need to do. It is a complex for sure. Again, this is another mod that's definitely going to need its own video to do. But you've got your expanded areas where you can sell things. You've got a BGA where you can put things if you really want to. If you don't want to buy that whole building over there, well, here is the machine by itself. And then we've got a version of it here that doesn't bag. So... There you go. Again, uh, I think this was added, but then removed um, at a certain point from the mod hub. Uh, well, it is back and it is better than ever. Big shout out to Dazed. Oh, man. Next up, we've got the building garage, which is not what it's called in game at all. Large garage with solar panels is what it's called. So another uh, missed opportunity for translation there, I think, but I'm pretty sure the creator of this speaks English, so I'm not really sure what to do there. We've got a bunch of different areas through here, so you can open these up inside and out, and you've got ways to move between these different locations. So you can see it goes off into an L-shaped here. Well, if we open this up, boop, boop, opens up to the outside. So there's a lot of room in here to go from whichever kind of spot you want to wherever you want. And these even go straight through. Uh, this reminds me a lot of a few other mods that we've got out already, but uh, if you like this one a little bit better, well, hey, jump in. Next to something that's basically the mine's bigger than yours is <laughs> type thing. This is the underground storage from Schultz Modding with help from Neil. So big shout out to those guys. These are neat. So it's underground storage at the end of the day. Storage goes in. This is the only part that's above ground. Kind of looks like something from Star Wars, which I'm really down with. These are cool and super easy to find. Just go into silos, go to the end. Right here, we have underground. So underground storage, half a million liters, pretty good. 
Then we just added a couple more zeros to the underground storage with liquid. So a nice uh, bulk material uh, liquid storage for 500 million liter capacity. Oi, I like it. That's big. And our last new ones for all platforms today is the Plenty or Plantly production. Uh, th these are vegan foods. So uh, this is kind of nice. We have the Tofu Factory and the Vegan Milk Factory over here on our left. And then they've added some sell points which accept these things. The V Farmer's Market or Vegan Farmer's Market and the V Supermarket or the Vegan Supermarket. Uh, new mods that came out today might be a little bit confusing here if you go into selling points. So we have the Vegan Supermarket and Farmer's Market. And then we have the Farmer's Market and Supermarket Extended that came with the Seed Potatoes mod. So just be aware, those are right beside each other in the uh, in the game, but they do not sell the same things at each place. So you can see right here, we can make oat milk from sunflower oil, oats, and water. We can also make soy milk, which is kind of cool. Uh, soya milk, I think that's, and then Skyer style? I don't know. Uh, either way, you've got different stuff there. Plus, we have tofu, tofu rosso, and smoked tofu in here, all needing different things. You know what? This is just so cool. It's, we're really getting to the point now where people are using the creativity in these production chains and in the factories. You know, in Farming Simulator 19 and 17, we had a global company and those were for PC only. Well, this is basically global company at the end of the day. How cool is that? Now we do have some mods updated for all platforms today, so let's take a look at them. The Gettler Matador 30 is the first one. This is gonna be version two, and a reseating device, rear mounting possible, and model adjustments. And we also have the Calshed 3 Plus 3 version 1.1. Fix the slurry trigger animation, fix the MP, fix the feeding trigger, and fix the price. And your only other mod update from today for all platforms is the Large Metal Pavilion. This is gonna be version 1.001. Added color selection. That's from FSG Modding. Devar, what I did? Now, we did have one mod that was updated on Saturday. It was updated right after I posted the Farm Sim News. This is the MA Ag Pack from SMI Modding Team version 1.1. 1 .1. Added new model, the Cultura Rapid Pro Bundle. All right, making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players. The very first one is the Mezzo Meta Q75 1360 Multi. These are from Oscar8599 and Pixel Farm. What's up, Pixel Farm? How you doing, my man? 2.4 tons on the multi right here. 240 horsepower, 9 miles per hour. This is your front piece. What this does is it's basically a blower. So it picks up your stuff off the ground. That's going to be uh, grass, hay, straw, silage, and um, chaff. Pick it up off the ground, and then it will shoot it through to like uh, this, for example. This is your trailer, the Metz Q75. It has uh, 52,000 liter capacity, 12 tons. You've got uh, with roof or uh, without roof. Very cool to see that. Will Brands, Akut, Videstride, or uh, Videstride, BKT, Michelin, and Trelleborg. Now we can change a few of those up if you wish. Moving on, we have uh, Warning Triangle, yes and no. Side markers, you can add those on there if you really want to. Upper position middle position and lower position lights like all those work lights yep you want those and then you got your license plate now if you want to use that as a regular trailer you've got this piece the 75 attach and then if you just want all of it in one well here you go same customization but it's all one piece not two so very cool check this out if you're trying to do like uh, uh something different to a loading wagon this may be what you want. Also new for PC and Mac players today is the DT75 uh, Kazakhstan. Uh, now this looks pretty rough, not gonna lie. Uh, nonetheless, uh, there's some things on this that look really, really good, like the tracks, for example. Super, super unique on there. Uh, now, as far as this, we got a counterweight that you can throw onto the front. Uh, you've got cover configurations, which can be added if you wanna throw that on and not see the engine. Configuration lights, yeah, plenty of lights all around this thing. Configuration exterior, you can throw on a uh, extinguisher that could be inside or outside the cabin. Then you've got main colors, which include some different ones, which is nice to see. Dashboard panel, which can be changed. Let's see, we'll change that to blue. Yep, there you go. Cabin roof, so you can change up the roof color on there. Bonnet front, that is nice to have. Change, we'll just leave that on a lighter color. And then rim colors. That's kind of cool as well. We'll change that up to black. I think it looks pretty good. And there you go. It kind of looks like something from Mad Max a little bit, at least for me, but I understand 
um, that these do not have their place in Mad Max, but they do have their place on an old classic farm. So if you're looking for something like that, well, here it is. Next is a very interesting one that says it's for PC only, and I can't really figure out why. Uh, you've got multiple different things through here. At the end of the day, this is just a Hauer VX pack front. Um, yeah, I mean, it, they are what they are, right? Well, this is interesting because they say that in order to use this, in order for it to even work, you have to have the modder that made this is front and uh, console loader installed on the tractor. However, uh, they have not given any, uh, any, any indication of which ones those are. So I'd love to go through and show you guys all of the customization and everything to this, but uh, I don't even know what tractors this would work with and it's not listed anywhere. So, hey, if you know um, where those are, hey, let me know. If you're looking for a three meter cultivator that can't be customized, look no further than the Fighter GFZE 300. This is a three meter cultivator, six horn or 60 horsepower required. Can you imagine 600 horsepower, nine miles per hour and seven 700 kilograms those are the wrong dimensions regardless this three meter cultivator jump on it yeah, yeah. and your last new one for pc and mac players today is the horse maestro 12 sw again another mod that i can't figure out why it's only on pc this is a licensed brand so i'm not sure 9,000 liter capacity that's going to be for seed and fertilizer as you can see right there the different crops that it will do weighs 7.1 tons 180 horsepower nine meters nine miles per hour and you can change up a few of the wheels as well trailer board are the only ones that you can add on to though and your only other mod today we've got a update to the lumberjack mod version one two fixed an era where the ghost tree were created after removing a whole tree well guys that's going to be it for today's new mod video hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like hit subscribe join the goham fam make sure your notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel I'll be dead. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.